Namaste from Norway guys, my name is Arvind and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So guys, you all know that Norway is in news and it is not in the news for the good reasons. So primarily there was a movie which is called as Mrs. Chatterjee vs. Norway which was released and it is now on Netflix. And I also had a chance of viewing the movie two days ago. So guys, before I delve deeper into this topic, I would like to say that we have made four videos. We have already made four videos about this topic. The first video which we uh, made about Parnevan or Child Welfare Service in Norway, that was with one of my colleagues and that was way before uh, Mrs. Chatterjee vs. Norway released and after that when you saw the trailer then we made one video and when Shelja watched the movie then we made one video and if you'll go through and as you can see on the screen that there are a lot of comments on these videos a lot of opinions some are favoring one party another one is favoring another party or, or by reading uh, these comments what I felt is that it is creating this scare amongst people who actually want to move to Norway or who are already residing in Norway who are fresh in Norway so there are various Facebook communities where again people are discussing all sort of issues because when once the movie is on Netflix and it uh, then it can reach much wider audience not just the Indian subcontinent but uh, the other countries as well first of all again I would like to repeat that this is not a paid promotion nobody is paying us to do so and at the same time you know some people are saying that you are in Norway that this is a country where you are getting your bread and butter from so you are scared from the child welfare surface so see the point is we are neither scared nor we are trying to impress anyone it's just what because we have been raising our child as I mentioned for the past six years and we have been living in this country for the past 10 years and people around us they have been living like we know a lot of people who are second generation um, in Norway which means that they were born here and then they are raised and now they have children so they have never been intervened by child welfare service so we have certain experiences and that is why we thought that why why don't we share uh, these experiences and at the same time um, we would like to bring this out that if this has not happened with us or with our acquaintances it doesn't mean that it doesn't happen in Norway right it has happened so there is a certain thing going on uh, so we are not trying to again I'm saying justifying this or that party but what we are gonna talk now is about those red flags if they are happening to you while you are living in Norway then definitely I think so child welfare service will intervene or something uh, will happen right this is so guys as i mentioned i have just watched this movie two days ago on a weekend and uh, there are a few things which i observed so firstly i will talk about those things and towards the end i will tell you about this these red flags which we have been talking about right so please watch this video till the end so now what did i observe in the movie right the first thing the first scene which uh, had my keen attention was that when Rani Mukherjee and the hero, they are in Stavanger and Rani Mukherjee, probably she's pregnant, she eats the ice cream and she throws the wrapper on the street, right? And then the husband says, okay, you have to pick it up. So now this is something which shows, I won't say it as a cultural difference, but the difference in the two countries, right? In India, uh, I mean, I never liquor, uh, I never threw garbage or littered, but it is a very common practice that people do that very often. But in the Western countries, it is not a very common practice. Okay, so where am I going with this point? So we need to understand that in India, when we were being raised, and even I've seen when I go to the villages that, you know, people will spank uh, the child when he or she is being notorious. So it, it, it is a practice in India. But in Norway, it is a big no. You cannot even spank your child. You cannot threaten him or her. Child welfare over here and uh, or child protection laws over here are very, very strict, you know, and they are towards, uh, they will always favor children. And I'm not saying adolescent children, I'm not saying small children, but I am a teacher myself. And even in the colleges, the way colleges are, right? Everything I would say, what I feel is that that is in the favor of students. Some of my colleagues who have come from different countries and they are teaching now in Norway, they also feel that difference. For, for example, you know, the, uh, the students over here, they will not call me like Arvind sir or Dr. Arvind, they'll just uh, uh, call my name. And you know, at the same time, some of them can even be sitting in a, um, you know, in, in a classroom with their uh, like uh, feet on another chair. So that is totally uh, acceptable over here. 
So you cannot get offended by this, right? So the point here is when you come to a new country and if it is a collective decision of a family, we all must be very aware of the rules and the laws, right? Now, the second observation which caught my attention was that when the lady from this Welfred as portrayed in the movie, when they visit, when the senior officer from Oslo visits the Stavanger, their house, and then she asks the husband and says that, Mr. Chatterjee, it came to our notice that you don't help your wife in the household activities. And then as a defense, Mr. Chatterjee says that I am doing all the chores which are outside of the house because he's working and then he earns money and that is his explanation and the lady is responsible for anything which is inside. One of my acquaintances told me that uh, the children were asked the same question that by one of the counselors or one of the teachers in the school that are both the parents participating equally in the household chores and they can ask some indirect questions as well. That is who packed your lunch? Does Papa pack your lunch or not, right? So these kind of questions are asked in schools. One of my personal experiences is that raising a kid in a Western country is very difficult task and both whether you are working or not, both uh, husband and wife, they have to, you know, equally take care of the child. And then uh, now speaking about my friends and myself. So, you know, my wife is a better cook than I am. So it's like she will cook and I'll clean the kitchen. And then we are kind of spending uh, equal time with our daughter, Ava. So it's very necessary when you are in any Western country. Uh, this is because you have to divide the tasks in such a way because there is no other support system over here and that is why you have to equally divide so this is also one of my observations uh, in the movie and then guys another observation uh, which uh, i found really really important was the role indian government played in helping the mother to get the children back that was really commendable because there have been i would say a lot of cases uh, where i don't think so the government at that particular level they have intervened so this was really commendable of the indian government that they really helped to solve this case in the most amicable manner they could and then one of the final observations which i had from the movie is that everyone is portraying and saying to rani mukherjee that she is mentally unfit so uh, about this i would like to say that so there could be some postpartum side effects or depression uh, and i have never experienced it because you know i'm male i cannot experience it but I have stayed in Stavanger, the same place where she was. And when you come from India and you stay in a place like Stavanger where it rains and it is cloudy and in the winters, you know, there is no sun. So you tend to have this tendency of feeling low because I have experienced it myself. My first winters in Norway were the same, you know. I, I was feeling uh, in the month of December, I remember that I was feeling very low and I couldn't understand. But, you know, I was bachelor, I had full freedom, I could sleep as much as I can, I could watch movies because it was the vacation time. But for the mother in this case, Rani Mukherjee, she, even though she might be going through all of these uh, physiological and mental changes, but she had two kids to raise. So that could be one of the, uh, you know, one of the reasons of why she was not behaving the way she uh, was supposed to behave as per uh, the um, Norwegian standards. So these were some observations which I think uh, uh, really uh, spiked my uh, interest. And then the question is that uh, what are these red flags? So the red flags which I think the first red flag uh, which I perceive is that the domestic violence. If somebody complains that is your neighbor and it is, it can happen if you are having a domestic violence and if somebody listens, then people will complain, right? So like in this movie, his friend complains and then police interferes. So if that thing happens, it means that, and if you have children, it means that the eyebrows of uh, certain people in the child welfare service, they will be raised. So domestic violence is a big no-no. I have heard about two, three cases uh, about this, that, you know, there was some not domestic violence as in between a couple but the violence between two group of two couples and they fought with, with each other and then one of them you know they had kind of uh, this uh, police case against the other so all of these any kind of violence that is strictly prohibited and it can seriously affect your uh, stay in norway so that is the first red flag second as i've already mentioned is that threatening your child or spanking him and definitely hitting it is not allowed you cannot, not just your kid, but even in the school, colleges, if you are a teacher or even in somebody, you know, somebody, some kid is misbehaving with you, you cannot revert back. 
so you have to file you have to just call the police you cannot hit any child over here third thing which most of the people are considering as a red flag is this the idea of this cultural difference that is being portrayed in the movie so that as per me and as per the discussions with my friend we don't think so that that can be a problem and because you know right now about two weeks ago we had this oslo color festival so people are actually celebrating with us so the diversity is being celebrated over here so this cannot be the problem and we are also raising our i can say it openly that we are raising her in uh, like the way we were raised right the indian way and so we are taking best of both of the cultures and i think that is the best so if you are planning to come to norway and if you are somewhere here already and you are scared after watching this movie that okay because of this cultural difference this will happen so i think so the best thing is if you can you know talk to other norwegians you can talk to other people other indians who have been living here for like 30 40 years that how did they raise their kids and was that a problem so i don't think so culture can be a problem not just here but in any other country and guys at the end i will just say that okay we are not trying to take any side of any of uh, we are not trying to you know favor any side or you know trying to show disgrace or disrespect to any other side this was just our observations because just like you we have also just seen the movie and the only difference is that if you are in norway you have experienced that uh, norwegian culture and the norwegian system and if you are in india you have not done that right so that is the only thing so but you guys uh, we all are living in this democratic world and we can share our opinions so please uh, write in the comment box what do you think if you don't like it then also just uh, share your opinion about it and we can we can discuss it openly and the whole uh, point of this video is you know just to mitigate the scare amongst the people which is uh, happening right now so please uh, do like this video and share it and uh, Please leave a comment. That's it. Namaste from Norway.